And this is BBC One uh, with a large dose of humour. It's only a game, so put up a real good fight. I'm going to be snickering you tonight. I'm famed for my aim, so you better believe I'm right. I'm going to be snickering you, snickering you tonight. Think right! Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Davidson. Evening, snooker viewers. Is there a doctor in the house? Yeah. See, Virgo don't feel well. <laughs> no. His eyes are glassy, his body's stiff, and the only time he gets some colour in his face is when he sticks his tongue out. <laughs> See, the Salford sissy, right, is a bona fide hypochondriac. Oh, yes. And he's also one of these people who thinks he's ill all the time. <laughs> no, seriously, he goes to the doctors more times than the doctor. I don't know why, right? I don't know why he's so worried, right? His granddad lived to be 98. And when he passed away, old granddad Virgo, the family had his body frozen, like some people do. They do that these days, don't they? I don't think they're very happy with the idea, though, because every time they go for a bottle of milk, he falls out of the fridge. <laughs> so here's my ailing amigo, John Virgo. Is that fixed? No, it's mine. <laughs> I'm not well, I feel really icky and dicky. You look icky and quite dicky. <laughs> How long have you felt like this then? Ever since I swallowed that bullet. <laughs> you swallowed a bullet? Yeah. It's my own fault for playing golf near that rifle range. Yeah. <laughs> I saw this bullet lying on the grass, so I put it in my mouth to bite and see if it was live. As you do. And accidentally swallowed it. Of course you did. I'll be all right in a minute. The doctor gave me a dollop of wallop. A dollop of wallop? What dollop did he give you of this wallop, the Dr. Jollop, wallop, dollop? <laughs> well, it was a mixture of stewed prunes, cascara, castor oil, and refried baked beans. Will it make me feel better? Well, probably not. Uh, but one thing you should bear in mind. What's that? When you bend over the table to do a trick shot, <laughs> don't cough. <coughs> <laughs> oh, I feel better already. <laughs> Working old bag here. Where from, Kate? Coventry. What do you do with yourself? I'm a press officer for Coventry University. A press officer? Mm -hmm. For Coventry, what, you work for the university or are you a student as no, well? No, I work for the university. Do you? Mm -hmm. Ex-student. Not of Coventry, though. <laughs> what was you an ex-student of? Manchester University. Oh, I bet you was glad to move away from that rotten place, Manchester, where all them funny people like him come from. <laughs> I'm only joking, John. I'm trying to wind you up. I think oh. Manchester's lovely. And do you know the greatest thing that come out of Manchester? The M62. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan Giggs, of course. Ryan and Giggs. Beckham. Beckham. Did you enjoy Manchester? Yeah, it's a brilliant place. It's great mm -hmm. fun, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. Do you never fancy university, JV? I think they, had, they were building one in Salford as I left. They thought, right, he's gone, let's knock one up quick. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been working there, Kate? Uh, only four months. Enjoying it? Mm, it's brilliant. What Thank made you come on here, press person, coming on big break? It's a bit lacking street cred, isn't it? Just to meet you, Jim. Oh. What was that wink for? I saw that. That was the weakest link wink. Put your hand in there. OK, a yellow ball. Who is it? Well, we like to introduce new faces on Big Break. This young man is a very new face, never been on Big Break before, from Bridge End, Ryan Day! Oh, he's had a go already, eh? Hey? Come on and early. wreck the set. How oh, about Bridge End, mate? Yeah. Oh, it's nice there, isn't it? Sunny. Yeah, it's lovely. Mm. Welsh. Are you Welsh boy or are you? Welsh, yeah. Oh, that's it then. Don't worry, the old courage of the dragon. Your shirt's hanging out, you scruffy Mickey. <laughs> How are you, mate? That's about it. How are you? Are you a student and all? I was. What do you do now? Student. Mechanical engineer for a construction company. Whereabouts? Bertley, County Durham. County Durham? County Durham. Oh, up there. How long was you at university? Four years. Good? Yeah, it was good. Didn't do too much work, but... Not too much work. Would you right. recommend it to anyone that's deciding whether to go to university Definitely. or not? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Good time? Lots good of time, lots parties. of booze, lots of uh, other things. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> other things. So you, you walked you walk straight into this new job, did you? Yeah. 
straight into it. Um, there's not many people doing mechanical engineering on the northeast, mm. um, and I walked straight in. But I seem to be a bit stuck there now. Stuck? Yeah. What's your ambition, mate? Um, rock star. But uh, I'm in a local band. But uh, even my friends and family now are starting to not turn up. <laughs> well, that's good, though. Friends and family. Do you know what I mean? If your family enjoy it, you know it's not good, is it? Really? Uh, what do you do in the band? Drummer. Oh, a drummer, yeah. I used to play drums. Great, isn't it? People used to say, who's in your band? We used to say, three musicians and a drummer. <laughs> What's the name of the band? Bubble. Say hello to the boys. All right, lads. How's it going, lads? All right. <laughs> oh, well, we won't ask you to give us a song. Virgo will start dancing and it'll rain for a fortnight. <laughs> Red Bull, John. Well, if our first player was a new face, this is an old face, but Snooker loves him. Would you please welcome the six times world champion, Ray Riddell! All right then. Very educated program tonight. It is. Very educated mm. program. Yes, very educated people, and we even let you on. Yeah, I went to university. Which one? Yeah. Swansea. And you learned a degree in snookerisms? No. What did you do? I went to the talk, actually. <laughs> and I was ten minutes into this speech when the, all the people stood up on the table and started throwing buns at each other. <laughs> I think it's the age. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. Pleased to meet you. Scarcer? Not at all. You got in Liverpool, didn't you? I'm at university in Liverpool. Have they got one in Liverpool? They've got three in Liverpool. What for? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Did you know that, John? Yeah, of course. They're very, very bright over there. And Is there they? any Liverpudlians in it? Um, yeah, quite a few. Did you get a degree in stealing hubcaps then? <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the old comedians say. No, I love Liverpool. I love it so much I never go. Because yeah. I know I'd never come out <laughs> alive. <laughs> it's a bit like Salford, really. We used to think a GCE was an electrical appliance. <laughs> We're very old, you know. You have to. How old are you, Caroline? I'm 22. Married? Not at all. <laughs> Never been married? No. You can't go through life being happy all the time, you know. <laughs> and what, what do you do with yourself now? You, you're still studenting? Yeah, I am. I should finish in about a month's time. What are you going to do? I'd like to work for a couple of years and then travel. Yeah. Hmm. That's it, yeah. Learn all that stuff, work for a couple of years and travel. Yeah. Oh, you, you live with five birds in uh, Liverpool? I do indeed, yeah. Do you really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Suddenly, like Liverpool, a lot more than I do. <laughs> anyway, I'll stick your hands in there. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> Blue ball, John. Well, I've seen them all, but I've never seen anyone with more natural ability than this young man. Would you please welcome the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan? <laughs> okay, okay, then. Five words. Okay then, we're going to start five birds in Liverpool. We're going we're gonna to start to play five birds living on their own in Liverpool, don't you worry about that. It's called Red Hot, five birds. Yeah. All right, Kate, let's see if we can find some hard ones for you for that little wink. I'm only here to see you, Jim. <laughs> Worth a try. Okay, 40 seconds free, five seconds knocked off for each incorrect answer. Kate, who replaced Boris Yeltsin as president of Russia? Vladimir Putin. Very good. Ooh. Could have been a snooker player, couldn't he? Could have. Vladimir's Putin. <laughs> <laughs> Rearrange the letters of the word evens to get a number. Seven. Yeah, these are really easy anagrams. This is a bit harder. Which one number answers these three clues? The total number of dots seen on a dice, the age of majority before it was reduced to 18, and the number you must not go over if you're in pontoon. 21. Correct. There you go, mate. Good luck on your first appearance. <laughs> Okay, Ryan, first to go. You have a chance now to set a real big target for the uh, two champions to follow you, so we'd ask you to make your break. Always remember, of course, the clock will not start until the next time you strike the cue ball. You better Ooh. tell us the rules again, John. Pot as many balls as you can. <laughs> Okay, clock starts when you strike the cue ball. Best of luck. No, I didn't think it went. Just didn't go. One.
two, three, four. Still got 15 seconds to go. This is a good debut. Five. Don't you worry about that. Six. Seven. Got time for this. Who replaced George Bush Sr. as President of America? Clinton. Yeah. Rearrange the letters of the word there to get a number. Which type of there? What? Which there? Which there, you're correct. <laughs> Rearrange the letters of the word there, that's not belonging to them, to get a number. So if you go and see someone there, Rearrange that and get a number. <laughs> I'm never going to ask three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> which one number? Which one number answers these three clues? The number of chromosomes a human being has, the atomic number of palladium, and 23 out of 50 as a percentage. 23 out of 50 as a percentage. What it is, how many percent 40, of 50 40, is 23? 40, 47. I know, and I didn't go to yeah. university. You just, you just <laughs> doubled the 50 to make it up. Absolutely. 47. That's right. Yeah. 47? It's 46! <laughs> you silly idiot! You've only got 35 seconds, Ray. Take the table. Well, that was unlucky. You needed that five seconds, Ray, I think. It's a good start, though. It was an excellent start. First time on big break. That was top draw. Wow. Wow. Well, they've not opened very well. The clock <coughs> starts when you strike the cue ball. Well, that's odd, that, isn't it? Yep. It's all gone a bit strange. One. Two. Three. Four. Go on, run on, White. <laughs> Is it quick, Ray? Five. <laughs> Ray Redden scores five! <laughs> Caroline, who replaced Margaret Thatcher as Prime Minister of Britain? John Major. Yep. Rearrange the letters of the word net. That's what you catch fish in as opposed to gross. Opposite of. To get the number. Ten. Yeah. Which one number answers these three clues? The number of US universities that make up the Ivy League. The number on the black ball in a pool in a game of pool. The number of legs on a spider. Eight. Yeah. It's easier than your one. Yours was hard, I thought. There we are, girls in itself. <laughs> Go on, Ronnie, maximum time. <laughs> okay, Ronnie. Five to beat. Hmm, they're just breaking open a little bit awkward, aren't they? They're all breaking a bit, Trick. Yeah. Okay, Ronnie, maximum time starts when you strike the cue ball. One. Two. Three. Still three. Four, five, six, still six, it's enough though.
Donovan scores six! Ryan got seven, Ronnie got six and killed one of the crew. <laughs> but we have to say goodbye to dear old Ray. Come and join us here. Yeah, well, thanks for coming on. Good luck with the band. Yeah. Cheers. Drummer. Drummer, well, that's fine. And well, I'll see you down your golf club then. Yes. All right. And you, mate, trick shot. You'll be oh, good no. at this. <laughs> The old basket. The basket, which is the right way up. But it wouldn't be a trick if we didn't do something with it. So I'm going to put it on its neck. And what I'm going to do is hit the cue ball through the neck and flick the basket the right way up. This and pop the cue ball? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sugar. <laughs> For tonight's lucky trick shot winner, Jim, this superb espresso cappuccino machine. Okay, Mickey, there you go. Hit through the centre of the neck, a nice pace, and flick the basket up. Simon JB had 45 <laughs> practice shots. That's all. Well done, Mick. Enjoy that, mate. Nice spot on it. Yeah, I wouldn't have a beer with John later. Okay, then. <laughs> it's time for pocket money. I love it. Heads or tails, Kate? Heads, please. It's a tail. First or second? Second. Can I have a sit down there up there, Ron? Ryan, good luck. Kate, you come with me. Okay, Ryan, well. This is the pocket money table. The numbers on the balls are the value in pounds. Obviously, with Ronnie following, you need a good score. Keep your eyes open for the double pockets. £50 blue into the blue pocket. That'll double up to 100. Give you a chance to get to this week's final. We wish you the best of luck and ask you to make your break. OK, if you don't know the answer, Kate, just say pass. Mm -hmm. OK, Ryan, you've got 90 seconds. It will start the next time you strike the cue ball. Very best of luck. Ten pounds. Miss Black. Who was the star of Patriot Games? Sean Connery or Harrison Ford? Harrison Ford. Correct. Black. OK, carry on. Another ten. That's twenty pounds. And this time the black goes in. Ninety pounds. One hundred pounds. One hundred and seventy pounds. Miss Red, in which country was the soap opera, the Sullivan set? Australia. Oh, correct. Play. Carry on. Miss Red, which snooker player has the nickname Nugget? <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Steve Davis or Tony Drago? Have Tony a guess. Tony Drago. No, it's Steve Davis. Hold it. Is Caerphilly a Scottish or a Welsh cheese? Welsh. Correct. Play. Carry on. Miss Red. A centaur was half man, half what? Horse. Correct. Play. Carry on. 180. 20 seconds to go. 250. Do you know it was half man, half toilet? Burt Weed on. <laughs> 260. Carry on. Well done. 330. Oh, hello. What's happening? Oh, well, he scores 330 pounds! Yeah. Yeah, well, very good. Well, nice time out. Go on, Ronnie, see what you can do. Come on, Kerry Ryan. OK, Ronnie, good score out from Ryan. 330 pounds to beat to get to this week's final. We'll ask you to make a break. Oh, Caroline. OK. Oh, Caroline K. OK, Caroline. <laughs> I'm getting confused here. You better start hitting them. OK, then. Miss Red, 
In bingo, what number is represented by clickety click? 66. Play. Okay, well, we're off and running. Ten pounds. 3.30 to beat. And 70. That's 80 pounds. Ninety pounds. A hundred and fifty pounds. Hundred and sixty pounds. Two hundred and twenty pounds. Miss Red, does Lucifer or Beelzebub mean Lord of the Flies? Lucifer. No, it's the other geezer. Oh, well, my tickets fell down the hole. Denver is a capital of which American state? Arizona or Colorado? Colorado. Correct, play. Carry on. That's 230. 330 to beat. 300 pounds. We're coming down to 25 seconds. Miss Red. Ooh. Is a whale a fish or a mammal? Silly Mammals. question. <laughs> okay, carry on. 300 pounds. 15 seconds to go. 310 pounds. This black and you're in the final. 380 pounds. Well done. Go on, carry on, Ron. Don't wait for me. Oh. 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 Ronnie O'Sullivan scores 380 pounds. Well played, Ronnie. Well done, Caroline. We have to say goodbye. Ryan, brilliant first appearance, mate. To get eight and then £330. Fantastic, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? First time on. You can stop skating now. <laughs> Katie, said our love. Yeah. Enjoyed yourself? Yeah, brilliant. All them readies to take back. Nice. Press officer. Keep them out of trouble, then. Go on then, Ron, break them up and I'll give you the address of where these six Dorises live in Liverpool. Mmm, <laughs> you're on the old cushion, son. Yeah. Is that a nightmare? Well, I had a good one tonight, haven't I? Right. I had a good one tonight. Better. Well, here we go. Five questions. You better get them all right then. He'll lift five balls off, the red ones, and then we do the whole job lot in one minute, 30 seconds, and you win these fabulous prizes to take back to the six Dorises in Liverpool. <laughs> Clear the reds tonight, Jim, for this stylish air cabin suitcase. Pop the yellow and also take away this luxury food hamper. Or remove the green to win a fabulous decanter with matching glasses. Down the brown for a combination TV and video and personal mini-disc player. I'll get the blue and make life easier in the kitchen with this contemporary dishwasher. Sink the pink and this state-of-the-art DVC camcorder is yours. Then clear the table by potting the black and win tonight's fabulous mystery star prize. Good luck, Ab. The time starts now. According to the book, what school did Tom Brown go to? Pass. What scared little Miss Muffet? Spider. In the Disney film, what type of animal is Bambi? A deer. Who created... Who, who is the current Duke of York? Prince Andrew. How old must an MP be before he can sit in the House of Commons? 18. Stop the clock. It's 21. Come on. Before you go in the House of Commons, you've got to be 21. The other one, what was it? Um, rugby. Oh. Tom Brown went to rugby. Okay. So we can only take three off. Mm, sorry, guys. Uh, well, I don't think we want this. Do no, we? no, leave that one. Leave you it. want to leave that? Yeah. Ooh, all right then. Well, you want to take these three off? No, just take. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> take them three, yeah. Those three. Okay, Ronnie. You've only got one minute eight seconds. After each red, you must go for a colour. Best of luck. We could do with that in straight away, and it is. Well done. It has been done with three, but very difficult. But you're on the way. You're on the way. All right, you've got the uh, air cabin thingy. Uh-oh, uh -oh. didn't want that to happen. I have to just try and hit it off the cushion on here. So. Yeah, good shot. You've still got time for this, I think. 
As long as we don't miss now. How long? You've got 30 right. seconds. 30 seconds. 25. We need to pot this. We need to pot that. We've potted it. Go on, Ronnie, roll this in. Please, go in. Get in. Oh. We've still got a chance here. Right, Ronnie, you've got five seconds to pot this black. Mingle with the stars and revel in the nightlife on a fabulous holiday to Hollywood and Las Vegas. <laughs> what about that, ladies and gentlemen? Rocket Ron, he's the best snooker player in the world. That's all. Give him a clap. <laughs> Let's make a bite to Nicky and to Ray and to Kate and to Ryan. Brilliant stuff, Carl. Say good night, JB. Good night, JB. Well, it won't say anything better than that. Join us for another big break soon, but don't forget, you can win our star prize. Get a pen and paper ready. The number will be on your screen soon. Take it down, phone up, and win an holiday. See you soon. To win this week's mystery star prize, or one of three runner-up prizes of Virgo waistcoats, just answer this question. What type of food is tortellini? A, pasta, B, fish, C, bread. Give us a call on 09001-555-333. Calls cost 60p per minute and the lines are open for 48 hours for callers aged 18 and above. Winners will be selected at random from all the correct entries received. The last of the World Cup quarter-final highlights next on BBC One. Match of the day with Ray Stubbs. I'm going to be snickering you tonight. And this is BBC One uh, with a large dose of humour. It's only a game, so put up a real good fight. I'm going to be snickering you tonight. I'm famed for my aim, so you better believe I'm right. I'm going to be snickering you, snickering you tonight. Big break! Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Davidson. Evening, snooker viewers. Is there a doctor in the house? Yeah. See, Virgo don't feel well. <laughs> no. His eyes are glassy, his body's stiff, but the only time he gets some colour in his face is when he sticks his tongue out. <laughs> <laughs> See, the Salford sissy, right, is a bona fide hypochondriac. Oh, yes. And he's also one of these people who thinks he's ill all the time. <laughs> no, seriously, he goes to the doctors more times than the doctor. I don't know why, right? I don't know why he's so worried, right? His granddad lived to be 98. And when he passed away, old granddad Virgo, the family had his body frozen, like some people do. They do that these days, don't they? I don't think they're very happy with the idea, though, because every time they go for a bottle of milk, he falls out of the fridge. <laughs> so here's my ailing amigo, John Virgo. Is that fixed? No, it's mine. <laughs> I'm not well, I feel really icky and dicky. You look icky and quite dicky. <laughs> How long have you felt like this then? Ever since I swallowed that bullet. <laughs> you swallowed a bullet? Yeah. It's my own fault for playing golf near that rifle range. Yeah. <laughs> I saw this bullet lying on the grass, so I put it in my mouth to bite and see if it was live. As you do. And accidentally swallowed it. Of course you did. I'll be all right in a minute. The doctor gave me a dollop of wallop. A dollop of wallop? What dollop did he give you of this wallop, the Dr. Jollop, wallop, dollop? <laughs> well, it was a mixture of stewed prunes, cascara, castor oil and refried baked beans. Will it make me feel better? Well, probably not. Uh, but one thing you should bear in mind. What's that? 
When you bend over the table to do a trick shot, <laughs> don't cough. <coughs> <laughs> oh, I feel better already. <laughs> Where from, Kate? Coventry. What do you do with yourself? I'm a press officer for Coventry University. A press officer? Mm -hmm. For Coventry, what, you work for the university or are you a student as no, well? No, I work for the university. Do you? Mm -hmm. Ex-student, not of Coventry though. <laughs> what was you an ex-student of? Manchester University. Oh, I bet you was glad to move away from that rotten place, Manchester, where all them funny people like him come from. <laughs> I'm only joking, John, I'm trying to wind you up. I think oh. Manchester's lovely. And do you know the greatest thing to come out of Manchester? The M62. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan Giggs, of course. Ryan and Giggs. Beckham. Beckham. Did you enjoy Manchester? Yeah, it's a brilliant place. It's great fun, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. Do you never fancy university, JV? I think they had, we were building one in Salford as I left. They thought, right, he's gone, let's knock one up quick. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been working there, Kate? Uh, only four months. Enjoying it? Mm, it's brilliant. What made you come on here, a press person, coming on big break? It's a bit lacking street cred, isn't it? Just to meet you, Jim. Oh. What was that wink for? I saw that. That was the weakest link wink. Put your hand in there. Okay, a yellow ball. Who is it? Well, we like to introduce new faces on Big Break. This young man is a very new face, never been on Big Break before, from Bridge End, Ryan Day! He's had a go already, eh? Like Come on and wreck the set. How about Bridge End, mate? Yeah. Oh, it's nice there, isn't it? Sunny. Yeah, it's lovely. You're Welsh. Are you Welsh boy or are you Welsh, yeah? Oh, that's it then. Don't worry, the old courage of the dragon. Your shirt's hanging out, you scruffy Mickey. How are you, mate? That's the bad, mate. How are you? Oh, you a student right. and all? I was. What do you do now? Student. Mechanical engineer for a construction company. Whereabouts? Bertley, County Durham. County Durham? County Durham. Oh, yeah. How long was you at university? Four years. Good? Yeah, it was good. Didn't do too much work, but... Not too much work. Would you right. recommend it to anyone that's deciding whether to go to university Definitely. or not? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Good time? Lots good of time, lots parties. of booze, lots of uh, other things. And, uh, <laughs> 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 other things. So you, you, walked, you walked straight into this new job, did you? Yeah, straight into it. Um, there's not many people doing mechanical engineering around the northeast. Mm. Um, and I walked straight in, but I seem to be a bit stuck there now. Stuck? Yeah. What's your ambition, mate? Um, rock star, but uh, I'm in a local band, but uh, even my friends and family now are starting to not turn up. <laughs> That's good though, friends and family. Do you know what I mean? If your family enjoy it, you know, it's not good, is it really? No. What do you do in the band? Drummer. Oh, a drummer, yeah. I used to play drums, great, isn't it? People used to say, who's in your band? We used to say, three musicians and a drummer. <laughs> What's the name of the band? Bubble. Say hello to the boys. All right, lads. How's it going, lads? At it. <laughs> oh, well, we won't ask you to give us a song. Virgo will start dancing and it'll rain for a fortnight. <laughs> Red Bull, John. Well, if our first player was a new face, this is an old face, but Snooker loves him. Would you please welcome the six times world champion, Ray Ridder! <laughs> All right, then. Very educated programme tonight. It is. Very educated mm. programme. Yes, very educated people, and we even let you on. Yeah, I went to university. Which one? Yeah. Swansea. And you learned a degree in snookerism? No. What did you do? I, I went to the talk, actually. <laughs> and I was ten minutes into this speech when the, all the people stood up on the table and started throwing buns at each other. <laughs> I think it's the age. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. Please, sweetie. Scarcer? Not at all. You come from Liverpool, didn't you? I'm at university in Liverpool. Have they got one in Liverpool? They've got three in Liverpool. What for? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Did you know that, John? Yeah, of course. They're very, very bright over there. And Is there they're... any Liverpudlians in it? Um, yeah, quite a few. Do you get a degree in stealing hubcaps then? <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the old comedians say. No, I love Liverpool. I love it so much I never go. Because yeah. <laughs> I know I'd never come out. Alive. <laughs> it's a bit like Salford, really. We used to think a GCE was an electrical appliance. <laughs> We're very old, you know. You have to. How old are you, Caroline? I'm 22. Married? Not at all. 
<laughs> Never been married? No. You can't go through life being happy all the time, you know. <laughs> and what, what do you do with yourself now? You, you're still studenting? Yeah, I am. I should finish in about a month's time. What are you going to do? I'd like to work for a couple of years and then travel. Yeah. Hmm. That's it, yeah. Learn all that stuff, work for a couple of years and travel. Yeah. Oh, you, you live with five birds in uh, Liverpool? I do indeed, yeah. Do you really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly like Liverpool a lot more than I do. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'll stick your hands in there. Blue ball, John. Well, I've seen them all, but I've never seen anyone with more natural ability than this young man. Would you please welcome the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan! <laughs> Rocket, John.